Hello everyone and welcome to Geopolitical Trends. As an analyst, I ask this question. Is the UK going bankrupt? Financially, that is. In this video, I am going to not only answer this question, but also provide you insights into how the UK might be asking China, not the US, for help. Let's dive in into these fascinating developments. From the financial crisis, to Russia's military operations in Ukraine, Britain, the UK, has borrowed and spent its way out of every jam you can even think about. So, the bill for that is that it's sort of becoming a worry all in its own by how much it borrowed. So, so the UK's public debt, debt load that is, has soared now by more than 40% to almost, get this guys, 2.6 trillion pounds, the equivalency of 3.3 trillion US dollars. And this was since the sort of the pandemic started back then, leaving the country owing more than its entire annual economic output for the first time since 1961. It's very, very problematic. So, so a heavy reliance on index linked bond at a time of high inflation is also means Britain will pay more to service uh, uh, its liabilities than any other advanced economy in the Western world. While big spending more money to Ukraine for that matter has helped the conservative led government reduce the political blow of recent sitbacks, it threatens to dump investments and send the UK into a negative spiral that could last for years to come. That's how serious it is. Of course, the British government is now reporting on this stuff. So, last month, the Office for the Budget uh, Responsibility warned that debt could balloon to more than three times the gross, uh, gross domestic product or GDP, that is, over the next half century without action. In other words, if there is no action taken, this is what's going to be happening. So the pressure is being compounded by a sell-off in, in bonds aimed at aggressive rate hikes by the Bank of England to quell inflation. I remember, made, I remember making a video in which I highlighted this to you that the uh, the uh, the height uh, the rate the height in rates is going to create problems for british people so the yield on the 10 year uh, benchmark this week this week rose above 4.7% that's an indication for where things are headed uh, it rose to its highest since 2008 and we all know what happened in 2008 with the global financial crisis. So, so the UK uh, bond market is among the developed world's worst performers, performers this year. I even had to check some information from some leading uh, uh, sovereign analyst. Uh, for example, I found one from uh, Maxine uh, Ribinok. His name is uh, Rybnikov. He's the lead UK sovereign analyst at uh, Standard & Poor Global Rating. He warned by saying, and I quote, there is not an easy way out of the current situation. The fiscal picture is weighing the, rate, the rating down at the moment, end of quote. So, while the risk of another downgrade, downgrade is unclear, Investors at the same time say the impact on UK assets could be more severe than it was for the US dollar or the US Treasury's uh, perennial safe heavens. So, my advice as an analyst to investors, be careful. If I were advising uh, some investors, I'd say forget about investing in the UK right now. Another uh, 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 analyst by the name of Sam Ziff, he's the head of the foreign exchange strategy at JP Morgan, private bank. He said, and I quote, the UK is more susceptible to sudden debt 
sustainability concerns because the pound, unlike the US dollar, is not the world dominant reserve currency, end of quote. So that is that that's spot on. I, I agree with him on this. So the UK's worst economic decline is brewing as we speak, which can only be avoided. And here is what the UK would not want to admit. It can only be avoided if China offers its helping hand. It's a reality. Many financial analysts are saying that if interest rates reach 6%, there could be a serious, serious economic problems in the UK. Uh, Brits, British citizens, are already concerned about money and jobs. People will have trouble paying for their homes because of higher uh, mortgage costs. And of course, no one is ready for this. No one. It's, uh, it's like in Germany. Uh, businesses also, especially smaller ones, that provides many jobs, might struggle with borrowing money and to everyone's disbelief, the U.S. is the reason for this, these misfortunes. It's a reality. But they had to follow the U.S. policies, so, or they had to follow the U.S. Uh, uh, policies without even thinking. What they expect? This is the, what, you, what they are paying for right now. So. so where from here is anyone's guess? One thing is sure, I believe. Only China can help the UK at this point. But the question is, will the UK ask for China's help against the wishes of its master? So if yes, what will the US reaction be? Interesting, isn't it? Here's my conclusion, because I like to keep these videos very short and concise. The UK needs China. Otherwise, most of British people not, not the wealthy, not the, the royal family, of course. You know, most of the British people will go into poverty. So, will the UK do the right thing for its people? Or the UK government, that is. You know, will it ask China for help? Let me know what you think in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. Also, remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you like the content of this video. And I'll really be grateful to you for that. So... As always, remember, geopolitics impacts your daily life in more ways than one. Till next time. Bye-bye.